DIYers, what's going on? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking neon lights today. Hey, I'm excited about this video. My younger brother, Miles, just bought us an awesome neon light gift. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install it or hang it. Let's get started. DIYers, here we are in the kitchen and we've got a pretty cool countertop open kitchen design, which is neat. And we've got some pretty cool cocktails. We've got a pina colada, an island beer, a strawberry daiquiri, and a mojito. But here it is. Check that out. We are going to mount that or hang it or secure it to the upper portion frame of this window cutout or opening what was a window at one point. And here's what we've done. We've done our measurements and the total length from left to right or that full opening is 46.5 inches. So we recorded that and then we wanted to measure the sign from this point all the way to the opposite point. And that is 29.5 inches. And here's where the math or calculations get a little tricky. We wanted that sign, again, which is 29.5 inches wide, to be dead center in that opening. And once it's mounted, we want the exact same length from the edge to the trim to be the exact same on both sides. So. The calculation to do that is as follows, 46.5 inches, which again was the total length of the opening, minus or subtract 29.5, which again is the measurement of the sign, and that equals 17 inches. And then what we did was divide it by two, which equals 8.5 inches. So once we get everything secured and that awesome neon sign hung, there should be 8.5 inches on either side from again, each of these little prongs or edge mounts to the trim of the opening and we've already marked our holes and fortunately these are the screws that we're using there's a stud for the frame so we don't actually have to insert and install drywall anchors so we're very happy about that from here what i'll do is mount that neon sign up and i'll show you what it looks like however first here are the little holes that i'm going to use to sink those screws into and secure that neon sign up on the upper frame we are making progress and that went actually very well. The calculations and measurements really are the hard part. And then I needed a second helpful hand from my wife to hold that sign in place while I secured these screws. Right up there, as you can see, and perfect length or measurement distance from the trim to either side of the sign. Now we've got that long cord we are going to hide and I'm going to use this kit. Down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be a link on where to purchase these. And I will show you a quick view of these, or one of this, that we use to hide the power cord for our TV at our entertainment center. And to the living room here is our floating entertainment center feeding up to our Samsung TV. And in the center of it, as you can see, out of that kit is one of those cord hiding pieces and we cut it to our preferred measurement. Again, the cords come out of the top entertainment center and feed up to the TV. And once we secured it, it's basically adhesive on the back side. We match the paint to our walls. So it looks a lot more presentable. Taking a step back and scrolling above right now, I'll also put it down below in the comment section as well as the description section is a link to a video that shows us doing that exact DIY project cutting that piece, painting it, and applying it, and hiding those cords. Definitely check that out. Back to the kitchen. Again, we are going to come out here also down below in the comment section, as well as description section. I'll post a link on an interior clothesline unit. That comes in extremely handy when we get out of the pool. We also installed one inside the bathroom over the tub. However, to the back side, and here is the back side and again we're going to hide that cord and I'm going to feed it up and use that kit to run it alongside the upper seam where the wall meets the ceiling and down in here and to our outlet inside there back out to the countertop and open portion of the kitchen and there it is check that out we have not hid the cords yet we're not going to bore you with that in this project but again down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be that link as well as posting it above just a moment ago. You may or may not be hiding your cords, so again, we don't want to bore you with that in this project. What do you think? It really goes. 
That is so, so cool. Amazing. All right, DIYers, it is late at night, and I do want to show you what this neon sign looks like all lit up. You ready for it? And DIYers, here it is at nighttime. Check that out. How cool is that? And there is a reflection as I move the camera that shows up with or without the backlit or light on on the camera. You can see right below that, I've got four yingling beers that we will be enjoying here shortly. So again, I wanted to show you that yingling is not actually served or sold in my home state. So we really take advantage of purchasing yingling beers while we're on vacation. So again, a special thanks to my younger brother, Miles, for purchasing this as a gift for us, as well as a thank you to my younger brother, Mark, and my dad for helping transport it from the place they purchased it to this kitchen so we can hang it and enjoy it. How awesome is that? Pretty neat. And here it is with the lights back on. Again, you can see that reflection, but it's all good. Let me zoom in to those beers. Again, Yingling Lager. DIYers, hey, if you're still watching, I do want to show you that we have hit the cords. And again, down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be links on where to purchase these cord hiding kits. And that one right there, is for the angled and adapter fittings. And I used a few and put the rest inside here. I will throw this away. However, again, we have hit the cords. You can't even see any of the power cord. Let's head to the back side and show you what we've done. Now to the porch where the back side of the neon light is. And as you can see, no clutter with the power cord just hanging. And the cord hiding kit comes with a lot of pieces. We did have to make measurements and cut it. And the power cord comes out of the power block there. I am going to remove those orange stickers and it loops up. I tie strapped it in line with the rail or mount and then it angles up as you see there in line with the mount and into the cord hiding kit and I matched the paint to the wall and I painted the entire kit, all the pieces, as you can see, there's the angled pieces and the adhesive on the back side is very strong. And coming inside the washer and dryer, all I did here was painted it white and the cord comes through and loops into that. And I took it all the way past the 220 outlet as you see there and down into the outlet so again DORs I did want to show you that a little bit of added time to the video but hopefully it might be helpful for you taking a step back in DORs again we definitely recommend that cord hiding kit that looks a lot more presentable and that is what we're all about less clutter better presentation really looks good and it blends in with the paint as you see.